Hello and welcome to Justin's video blog entry for Marketing 430. This is the first entry and today's topic is on email marketing. Last week in class we went over this topic about some disadvantages, advantages, how to measure the campaign successfully, and also how to avoid being considered spam. I'm just going to go over a little bit more in depth uh, with some top 10 tips of how to create a successful email marketing campaign, as well as some examples of companies that successfully created one as well as some examples of my favorite the disastrous examples so just to quickly go over um, briefly what email marketing is it is directly marketing a commercial message to a group of people using obviously email addresses um, this is also by sending email messages with the purpose of enhancing the relationship of a merchant with its current or previous customers also, this is used to encourage customer loyalty and repeat business. So just to go over some of the top 10 tips for email marketing. Number one, to make sure your email has obvious links. If you are wanting to generate things like bounce back rates and click throughs, you're going to want to make sure that you have obvious places for them to click. If you're trying to sell a topic or trying to sell an idea, a product, you're going to want them to be able to access the information that you're sending them. Number two is to minimize your use of images. I know a lot of people want a lot of images in their email, but with the new spam filters that are out there, a lot of images are being currently spammed, like spam blocked, and reducing that, the amount of images that you use will help. Number three is to make it easy to unsubscribe. People who do not wish to get the subscription of your email marketing campaign, marketing newsletters, things like that, they want to be able to quickly unsubscribe. And if they are unable to, it usually leaves it with a bad taste in the mouth and they often look bad on your company. Number four is to follow spam tips every time you send email. Following the spam tips is going to help you reduce your emails going into the spam folder, which will then directly reduce the reach that you have with your email marketing campaign. Number five is to maximize your email template dimensions. You want to make it look crisp and clean, and you just want the best email template possible. Number six is to keep your text short and easy to scan. I myself is a very, have a very short attention span, just like a lot of people out there, and if, that, if the email does not appeal to me and is not quick to read, I often just disregard it altogether. Number seven is to keep your email list clean. This is just by making sure lots of email addresses that you have are current, and if you are getting several bounce backs from your email marketing campaign, you want to remove those because it will just help streamline the next time you send out an email. Number eight is to properly use alt text, title, and linking with images. If they're incorrect, this is a bad thing. Number nine is to send test emails before sending to the main list. This is valuable because obviously if you have a wrong link, some of the margins are off, people aren't going to understand what you're trying to send them. Number 10 is to make sure to piggyback a text version as most email marketing campaigns are HTML. Not a lot of people can access this or view this if they have older machines, if they're on their iPhones, things like that. So by sending a text version to piggyback off of, this will give them a, 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 the ability to actually view it. So just to go over some of the successful, actually, one that I found was a very successful marketing campaign. It is about Callaway Golf Balls. So just in a nutshell, obviously Callaway is a golf company brand. The company, the, the campaign, sorry, encouraged golfers to forward their campaign to four friends to create a four-ball golf team. Just like regular golf, which usually is created with a foursome. The email, the original email went out to people that are probably subscribed through their website, previous users of the company, as well as people accessing it from their website, Twitter, and Facebook. This actually encouraged this to go viral by them sending it to three of their friends to encourage them to join this campaign. Um, they were encouraged to uh, they were encouraged to to join by engaging dynamic content illustrating their name on a leaderboard with other great golfers like Tiger Woods. 
Callaway offered free golf balls and as an incentive to the teams, and it was sent on Friday, which is very clever because most keen golfers would be thinking at this point about the weekend ahead, which they would be using golfing. Um, now, to obviously measure how successful this was, approximately four weeks after this, they sent out a some information for some feedback, and they got 85 percent of the people responding. This is huge. You know that the reach is then getting to the people and they are willing to respond. Now the results were incredible. The database that they had went from about 5,000 subscribers to 39,000. That is a huge increase. The total response rate was about 780 percent thanks to the viral effect. So this is a, a massive example of a great company that, uh, sorry, email marketing campaign. So to go over my favorite things, which are some of the companies that uh, did not do so well, I'm going to be turning on to Turner Broadcasting, which is a cartoon, which, which does Cartoon Network. Back in 2007, they created a sort of, uh, they created LED signs, although this doesn't really have to do with email marketing too much. Um, the end result is about knowing what's with current times. So essentially what happened is that they put LED signs all over these uh, all over cities to get people to be interested in what these signs were. Now of course they had nothing to do with Cartoon Network on it and essentially somebody called in the police called into the police believing that it was a terrorist scare. So this just uh, shows to <laughs> shows that your campaign should be sympathetic and that you should know about current events and public sentiment when crafting your campaign. Um, another example of a viral campaign used with email and, and Twitter is Kenneth Cole. I guess early in 2011 they sent out a Twitter, um, a little tweet there that said millions are in uproar in Cairo. Rumor is they heard our new spring collection is now available online. This is, this caused quite a bit of backlash. Um, <laughs> The lesson for this is that social media marketers can learn from this awful mistake is that humor doesn't work if you're news jacking something that is not in the best interest. Another example is the New York Times that sent out an email marketing campaign in December of 2011. People who were subscribing and then actually later turned off of the New York Times, they were to receive an email to convince them to come back with a discount. Now this seems perfectly legit. Unfortunately they sent it to the 8 million previous subscribers. Now you can imagine how much money they lost and sort of the backlash as they're trying to sort of wheel back and pull back. Another company or another example of a company would be a company called Timothy's Coffee which also sort of found the same fate as New York Times but being a smaller company and really pull out of it. Um, a lot of Timothy's Coffee's sort of marketing is done online through their social media reach and they offered a coupon for free samples of their product by subscribing to their social media, Twitter, Facebook, things like that. Unfortunately, they sold out in three days. They completely wiped out all of their product and they were not expecting that. Two weeks later, they sent out messages and tried to say first come, first serve. But despite an apology, wasn't really they they couldn't pull back from that. So just in recap, this is just some tips to follow, as well as some examples of some successful companies and some examples of some disastrous companies. I hope you enjoyed my first video blog entry level entry. Thank you.